Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good morning, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're having a great start to your Friday. This Saturday, Snug Harbor in Grand Haven will be welcoming the return of its Chili Blues event for a 30th year. Steve Loftus, the owner of Snug Harbor, joins us now on the Live Desk to preview the massive celebration. Steve, thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you for the invitation, Phil. We've got a great weekend in store, a beautiful sunny weekend. Uh, it's great in Grand Haven. The Lake Shore is ready to go. Yeah, no, a perfect weekend for it. Um, I, I guess, you know, first starting off, I mean, how excited are you to be bringing this back for another year to Grand Haven? Well, after 30 years, I'm just excited to be here, Phil. <laughs> uh, we are. It, it's just been a, a, a great fun thing to do in uh, the spring. We used to do it in February. It got a little dicey. Uh, a couple of times it was below zero. So under a tent with several hundred people was a, <laughs> a little challenging, but we do it in April. It's a great time. The uh, businesses are ready to go. The uh, Our visitors are returning. Our locals, you know, are getting out and about. We start seeing boats on the water, which we've seen already, a couple of big freighters already. And so it's just a nice signal that, hey, we're open for business. The lakeshore is open. Come on out. Have a great time. Uh, 30 years here of supporting and celebrating uh, certain good causes, great causes, and uh, eating some great chili and hearing some great blues, Big Daddy Fox. And uh, chili blues, it's a gas, gas, gas. What can I say? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, you touched on it being 30 years and what that uh, kind of signifies. But I guess what does it mean to you to be able to keep bringing this back year after year and having a lot of community support and excitement around it to, you know, they kind of ask you guys to keep bringing it back and back, it seems like. Yeah, it's great, great fun. You know, being in the hospitality industry, you know, we have the perfect setting to to hold events like this as fundraisers and creating a lot of fun for the visitors and for the locals that, that come out. We do several events throughout the year, but this is a nice time. Uh, people have had, you know, enough winter. It's like, let's get on with it. So after 30 years of support, it's very meaningful. And uh, the contestants, many of them have been with us for 30 years. And they come in and take it very seriously. We're very serious uh, judging side, but it's also fun as well. The way it works, Phil, is we uh, have a meeting at 10 a.m. with all the contestants. At noon, they fire up their grills and cooking uh, mechanisms, whatever they want to use there. And then they start cooking. And then at 3 o'clock, we go around with our specimen collectors. And they collect uh, all of the specimens from the chili contestants. And then the judges get busy. And then at 5 o'clock, uh, we have the winner announced. And uh, it's always a lot of fun. And, again, Big Daddy's playing the blues uh, music. And just it's, it's just a, a great, fun, relaxing time for a great cause. You yeah, know, we're looking at some of the uh, photos from some of the past events right now, and everybody just has a big smile on their face. Everybody seems to be really yeah. enjoying themselves. And you touched on exactly how the competition is going to work. But one thing I did want to ask, Steve, is in some of the photos we have, they're, ho they're holding up these sort of big jars that I'm assuming are sort of the prizes for all the winners of the chili competition. Can you explain a little bit about what those are and tell us a little bit more about them? Well, after going to enough yard sales and seeing old trophies set up, you know, and people getting rid of them as quickly as they get them, <laughs> we thought, let's do something unique. So we do, uh, Kowalski Design gives us these granite slabs, and we do a, uh, we make our own trophies. And uh, they're a lot of fun, and they travel well. And the contestants every year bring them back. Of course, they have other uh, trophies from other uh, competitions. And so it's, uh, they're unique, and they're fun. And so we, um, I wouldn't want to cart one away with that granite block on it, but they sure like them. So we have a good time with it. And it's a, it's a unique uh, presentation. We put a couple bucks in the first and second, I think third place as well. We have a booth, a show person ship. And so, you know, it's, it's just a lot of moving parts again, all day long, just music. And then we have Kirby grill. Who's always partnered with us just down the street. We have other uh, bars and restaurants that will partake and be open uh, for the visitors and for those that wish to uh, partake in all this. So it's just one big celebration community-wide. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that kind of leads into my next question for you, Steve, is obviously the chili competition is sort of the big draw to something like this, but there's also a lot going on. You mentioned, obviously, the blues music, other bars and restaurants in the area kind of joining in. But tell us, and everybody that's interested in coming out but maybe not interested in participating in the competition, what can they expect to really enjoy down at Chili Blues this year? Well, it, you know, Grand Haven's a very walkable community, and so you have many things you can do outside you can walk the uh the channel and go out to the pier and such and then downtown on saturday we've got the big shop which is a a, a terrific uh fundraiser for nonprofits, uh such as bluebird cancer retreats the momentum center reed ottawa uh, buses by the beach and so there are more than there's more than one activity to do so what we try to do is create an experience it's not just around any one thing uh with the chili cook-off but certainly when you come down to snug uh, again with the, the live blues and people greeting one another, having not seen them uh, for some time, uh, it's just a great, fun, interactive uh, environment for people to really just enjoy. And then after they've had their chili and such, you know, sit down, have dinner, uh, walk downtown, uh, try some of the other restaurants, uh, some of the shops. Uh, are open uh, places like Talaki Paki are open and and uh, they're great shops and great fun. So it's it's really creating an environment for an experience is what our 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 goal really is here. Mm -hmm. Right now, really bringing everybody from the community out and about on Saturday, really great way to kind of experience everything Grand Haven has to offer with, of course, Chili Blues uh, happening this Saturday over at Snug Harbor. Of course, we do have more information over on our website. But Steve, before we let you go, we know we do appreciate you stopping by. But as the owner of Snug Harbor and being a part of this event for the past 30 years. I mean, talk to us. I mean, let us know. Make your final pitch out to people for those who are maybe on the fence about possibly coming down this weekend. Why is Chili Blues the place to be this weekend? Well, our big heated deck, you know, people will not, we like Chili Blues. We like to hold it in a time that it's it's chilly and it's blues and it's it's great fun. I think Grand Haven is just a, a, a great welcoming place this time of year, or any time of year, but for right now, just getting out and uh, breathing again, you know, feeling the sun in your face and, and taking a brisk walk and participating in what we're doing, I think is a perfect uh, opportunity to really shake off the winter blues and come out and feel the sun in your face and have a great time, eat some great chili and beverages and you know, be on the heated deck and walk downtown and all those things. So it's really an experience. It's not a one-off. We, we draw it all together, the big shop downtown, all those different elements come together. We guarantee people have a great time. If you don't have a great time, come see me. Well, okay, maybe you don't wanna come see me but because I'm, I'm really old, you know, so you don't wanna see. After 30 years, <laughs> I look back, where'd the time go? But we're still here, still having fun. And we're gonna look forward to seeing all of our visitors tomorrow in Grand Haven. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better myself. Steve, thank you so much for stopping by the live desk today. One last time, Chili Blues is happening at Snug Harbor down in Grand Haven this Saturday, bright and early, so make sure you go ahead and check it out. And if you're interested to learn a little bit more about it, well, we've got all the information you need to know right now over on our website, woodtv.com. For our Facebook audience, just head on down to the comment section or the description box. We've got links for you down there as well. Steve, one last time, thank you so much for being here today. This was awesome. Thanks, Phil. We really appreciate your interest in all things Grand Yes, of course, absolutely. And I want to thank everybody else for tuning into this latest edition of the Wood.